Hello again and welcome to Ndudubai Fafa. I mean, when I got these green plantain, I had in mind this new fufu recipe, which I've created anyway. It's incredible, by the way. And then I had some left and I wanted something different, something that was gluten free. I was like, why don't I ever try or make the green plantain akara or kose, may I say? Yes, because akara or kose usually is with um, the bean flour. But why can't I use plantain for it in the same breath? which is easy and quicker, there's no peeling involved, and yes, it would be great. So I was just wondering, like, hmm, why has this not ever been made? Is it because it just doesn't work? Mm, I think I'd find out. So at that point, I was like, okay, let me just set the camera and film this as I go along. And of course, if it works, then I will be showing you guys. And if it doesn't, then you would never know such a thing even existed. Obviously, it did work, so that's why you're looking at it. So I did peel the green plantain, and I saw me earlier, I grated it. The reason is, if I chose to actually put it in the blender, then I had to add some water, but I did not need that water. The moisture from the green plantain is good enough for my recipe. I didn't want to add any flour or anything. So I've got the Asanka Entapuli, which is the and then clay bowl with internal ridges and then the wooden pastel and I'm just grinding this until it's nice and smooth but of course thick because I do need that for the frying this is so exciting at this point I'm adding my salt to taste and then I'm just going to grind it further for another two minutes until everything is well combined as I always say Once you finish all your chopping, now you need to do your mix mix. Of course, we're going to be adding our finely diced, you know, red and green chilies and as well as the spring onions. Now, the amount of chilies that you do use for this recipe should be, you know, to your personal taste and preference. Absolutely. If you can stand one that has more chilies, you can increase the amount. And if you're quite sensitive to the amount of chilies in there you can reduce that yet again to suit your personal preference so anyway i'm mixing everything together till it's well combined and you see the consistency that i'm talking about it's nice fluffy and beautiful and i think yes frying this is just going to be incredible at this point i decided to divide my mixture in two so i will be frying one in its normal state as you see it like that and then the other I decided to be creative because this is the first time this is being made. So of course, this is me trying recipes and this is how it works. So I've added my bicarbonate of soda and baking powder here. So that's going to make a fluffier version, I guess. Yes. And to that, I do add my egg yolk and that's going to make it richer as well. Yeah. So of course I'm mixing everything together and also aerate it while I'm shaking, whilst I'm mixing it, sorry, because that would allow for a fluffier 
plantain green plantain akara by the way mm -hmm. this is not any other food though. this is in dubai for fun so if you haven't subscribed yet and you've watched to this point please click that subscribe button and the notification button which means if anytime i do upload a video you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing and if this is your first time of tuning in you're welcome and thank you for joining the tribe so now i've got my oil in my wok you can use any frying pan or any pot of your choosing and i just want to make sure that the oil is to the right temperature so i just dropped um some of my um spring onions in there yeah so i just wanted to see how it bubbled and i think at the rate at which is going it looks good so here i'm scooping as you can just tell about a tablespoon full of the mixture and it quickly rises up so the first one that i'm frying is the one with the bicarbonate soda and the baking powder so yeah let's see how that works So yes this is looking so good look at that okay now at this point just ensure you do have your kitchen towel or kitchen napkin that you can blot the excess oil once you take this out of the oil and I think this looks good so this was fried for a total of eight minutes and after every two minutes I used to turn it over and it just looked golden brown and beautiful so here we have it mm-hmm so I'm just going to transfer it to the kitchen towel and then here it is in its glory. Now let's fry the second one which is without the bicarbonate soda or baking powder. you will notice that this has a denser look obviously and um, it just looks beautiful and golden it has a rounder shape as compared to the one with the bicarbonate soda and baking powder which is the one that I'm opening now that looks interesting and fluffy yeah and it also has a pale like looking color to it I like that that is beautiful what say you are you inspired to try it <laughs> you're exploring it as much as I'm exploring it as well and this is the second one so this is the one without the bicarbonate soda and um, baking powder I don't know how many times I've been saying that um, but yeah look at that that's denser so in comparison the other looks fluffier and the other is denser obviously um, but yeah which one would you go for but guess what I've got a surprise for you in a different language I love speaking different languages from Africa and one of them is the click language Ubuja Mofafa means food by Fafa Ndundu by Fafa Come and learn together at Rumbi's 
table. We'll be leaving Rumbi's details in the description box below so you can subscribe to her channel and learn the click language. I'm definitely going to learn it. And I'm so impressed the way she just said I did it by for fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, naturally, I'll be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in dudubaifafat. So that's why say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video, an amazing recipe with you guys. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. Boost your immune system. And guess what? Me love you for you. Thank you for watching today. Mm-hmm.